Let's look at how you can import your test cases into a case in three simple steps. First, open your project and click on the three dots in the top right-hand corner and select Import Data. Now, under Source Type, select the test management platform you are migrating from. It will show you the supported formats for the files. For Test Rail, choose XML to get the best results. Finally, select the parent suite you want the cases to be imported to. If you do not select a suite, they will be imported to the root of the repository. Choose the file and click Import Tests. You can use the case I.O. source type for files that are exported from a case. It supports XML, JSON, and CSV formats. This can come in handy if you are editing or adding test cases in bulk using a spreadsheet software. For instance, if you have exported your repository into a CSV and made a few quick changes, you can choose this option which will replace test cases that match. This will ensure that there is no duplication when you are importing your repository again. You can also use the case I.O. source type if you are migrating from a spreadsheet software. However, please note that your file has to be a CSV and it has to meet some specific formatting requirements for successful import. You can download a sample CSV file from our help page to take a look at the formatting. Here are a few important things to note when working with the case CSV format. Please do not modify the headers of the CSV file in any way. The test suites are defined just below the header to the right under these three columns. If you would like to add a suite, you will need to do it right above the test case. And for any test cases that are to be referenced to the suite, you will need to add the respective suite ID and the name for successful import. For test case steps, you can specify the steps type, whether classic or gherkin in this column. And when working with the step action and step result, please ensure to number them and put them under double quotes. Also, if you do not have, say, a step result for step three, you will need to still add a number for that step and leave it blank under quotes. The import parser supports most source types, and you can check the supported formats here. But if you encounter any issues, feel free to reach out to our support through email or through the in-app chat. If you have more questions on this or any other feature, you can check out our help articles and our FAQ section. If you do not find an answer to your question, or if you have any feedback that you'd like to share with us, just drop us a message.